Instead of like critiquing things that, not saying that you're crit you're critiquing, but a yeah, lot of yeah. Christians they critique this. Instead of critiquing it, they should just go out and do it their way if they feel led to do oh, it yeah, differently. Yeah. And I have. But okay, that's yeah. great. Amen. So I was just saying like I was just saying for a variety because you know people imagine this like someone's coming down they yeah. see this on what what's today Thursday uh, yeah 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 then you come back on Friday and you've got repent turn yeah. to Jesus and have eternal life yeah that's great then it's like it's the same person well, walking by like well, oh here's shoot. the thing is that yeah. you know that, here's, that's all I'm saying here's the thing is that I'm not the only Christian here so to balance it out other Christians can preach that way I only come here like once a week uh, yeah, recently yeah, yeah. so uh, I don't I just don't have a sign you that go says here? no oh okay so okay. well yeah. That's all, man. Wasn't trying to okay. try your No, it's nothing. okay. Just saying, you know. Don't worry, man. People, I just have to be straightforward. You so, got to, well, you got yeah. to be to a certain extent, but yeah. I'm just saying, you know, there can, yeah. there's a well, positivity the, the, to the message. Well, the answer but, by everyone you know. here has heard John 3.16. They've already heard it, so uh, I'm led to do it this way. Mm -hmm. If I'm led to hold it, if I'm led to do it another way, then uh, so be it. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? What's yeah. your name? Aaron. Uh, Aaron, Jesse Aaron, but you Aaron. can call me Aaron. Devin. What about you? Okay, Devin. Yeah, Devin. Man. Good to meet yeah, you. I was coming to you as a Christian, Okay, brother. God bless That's you, bro. All, God yeah, bless God you. God bless. Yeah. You take care. Hey, good to see you again. What's your name again? Uh, Jackson. 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 Jesse Aaron. I'm going to pray for you, man. Oh, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, see you later. Your book says something about extra biblical text. Yeah, it says uh, what extra biblical text say about it. Uh, there's certain, there's, have you heard of the book of Jasher? No. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a book that uh, touches on things that went on in Genesis more, like in Sodom and Gomorrah. So I included passages right. that speak on Sodom and Gomorrah. Who's the author of that? Uh, it's, I'm not 100%. It can't be part of biblical canon. No, it can. I mean, just because it's not in the Bible doesn't mean that it's not inspired by the Holy Spirit. So the question is, does it contradict the Bible? I've read the book, of, well, I've listened to the book of Jasher on audiobook, and uh, it doesn't contradict uh, what's in the Bible, so. Uh, I still think, you know, I, I think maybe things like that can still be inspired by the Holy Spirit, but yeah, okay. you know, we know that the canon of Scripture is closed, right? Like, we agree on that. Uh, no, no, because, you know, in Revelation, when it says to not add or take away, it is actually just talking about that that letter, Revelation. It's not talking about, and also Joshua was written before Revelation, so uh, that wouldn't be necessarily adding, you know what I mean? Right, well, so, I mean, the whole Bible is written prior to Revelation. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I don't know. I, I just I would be surprised if it was uh, an important document for Christians to know that it wouldn't have appeared in. Well, here's the thing: is that the Bible actually makes reference. It actually names Jasher twice. Once in Joshua 10:13, it says, "Is it not written in the book of Jasher?" And then also Paul alludes to it. He talks about uh, Paul talks about uh, oh, I forgot their names. Uh, two sorcerers. Uh, that don't appear in Exodus, but they do appear in the book of Jasher. Where did Paul get that from? Not the book of Exodus, because they're not talked about there. He got it from the book of Jasher. Right. And also uh, Jude 14 through Jude 14 through 15 quotes First Enoch, which is another extra biblical book, verbatim. So uh Is that book of Jasher? Yeah, the book of Jasher. If you look up Jasher, there's two times in the Old Testament it uses it by name. Well, what did you say earlier? What do you mean when you said this is a hateful book? Uh, uh, well, it's hateful because it's uh, hateful against sin. The, God says to hate evil, so it's hateful in a good way. So, yeah, it's hateful against uh, the sin. So, yeah, people are just people are. Do you think that's the most effective way to get people to read the book? Yeah, I mean, because it's because uh, people aren't used to people speaking that way. So. Uh, people are used to Christians being like, oh, it's not hateful, Gee, love, 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 but there's a good type of hatred. The Bible talks about it. Right. So, first of all, that gives me right to talk that way, and second of all, it does actually draw people because they're not used to hearing it spoken that way. So some of this is like shock value kind yeah, of for yeah. the purpose of yeah. spreading the message. Yeah. 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 All right. Well, so. I, I can simply say I learned something today. Okay. Uh, what's your name? Uh, Baker. Baker? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, Jesse Aaron. Yeah. God bless you. You can come back later if you want to. God bless you. Thank you. Yeah, I wrote a book. It's called Homo Sex is Sin. Amazon did ban it. But if you want a link, you could go on my Instagram. It's extremely rare. And I know you guys have TikTok brain. So it's not that long of a book. But it gets straight to the point. You can give it to your homo friend. You can give it 
to your homosexual friend and be like, here's a gift. I got just one quick question. I got to go real quick. Are you taking questions? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I just like, because I see, I don't think I've seen you here before, is it? Really? Or maybe it, maybe it was you. I don't know. It's there's like, there's I, a few still, people that go here. Okay. Yeah. I, do you get... Like, is it, do you get paid for this at all, or is it just... No, I don't get paid. Okay. Yeah. I was just curious. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just, that's so, fine. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's all I have. All right, all right. Take care. <laughs> yeah, have a good rest You too. Day. Thank you. If you are struggling with butt sex, homo sex, being a faggot, you can get my book on Amazon. Uh, it talks about how homo sex is sin. The word of God plainly states it. Sodom and Gomorrah is a real story. Jesus stoned, brought down fire on Sodom and Gomorrah, the loving God of the Bible. Jesus kills people, the book of Revelation. No, it is sometimes. I'm not threatening them. Jesus promises that he will kill you if you stay wicked. Jesus only loves Christians. God hates most of you people. God does hate most people at University of Tennessee. Who knows, just one more faggot and God might firebomb the place. One more faggot, and God might just come back, grab you, slit your throat, throw you into hell. Oh, it's coming, guys. Jesus Christ, he's coming to knock out the teeth of the wicked. Jesus is not some puss, wuss, tight jean, little wuss, puss, faggot. Jesus Christ is a man of war. Read the book of Revelation. So, uh, so much of the Christian music is effeminate. Little wuss puss, Taylor Swift, tight jean music. Modern Christianity is a pathetic, pathetic. Wuss puss. Stop being. I'm having a great time. <laughs> Stop being a gummy bear Christian. God hates most people here. God hates faggots. Psalm 5.5 says that God hates the wicked.